to try to install the Mego OS, uh, which is jointly being um, supported by Nokia and Intel and being uh, developed by basically just all of us. Uh, I'm going to install the um, first image of the Mego OS for this Nokia N900. So I can, the first thing I need to do is turn the phone off. And make sure I show you how to get the software. So, the website wiki.migo.com will give you information about the Migo OS, but there's arm slash Migo underscore images for a 900. And there's two types the open source image and the closed image. The open source image is, well, open source. The only difference with the closed image, as far as I can tell by reading this, because I have not installed it yet, is that there are some Nokia proprietary components that can be loaded. So that just means that it's Nokia code, not open source code, but it's for the N900. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. Um, I think that might be things like, you know, um, software to control the level of the battery and things like that, because I was reading something about that's not there yet. So be careful not to blow up your battery. So following these links, I'm go I got the software already. I'm going to just generally show you what software I got, because by the time you look at this video, for all we know, it's all changed. What I did was I went to get the images. Uh, you might have to actually log in with a code from your Nokia phone, but if you have a Nokia phone, you will have the code. It'll show you. I won't show you here. Just follow the instructions on the website. And I got this image right here, which is the only one available. Uh, now, one thing you may have to do is you may also have to go back and under the open source area, you may need to get this file. So I went to the repository right here, and I got the Z image ARM N900 file, which is basically the main file you need to boot up your N900. And I also got the native install image, and I also needed to get the flasher software tablet-dev.nokia.com mimo-dev-env-downloads.php I get the latest version of the flasher now if you've flashed the software before or if you've seen my other video you may not understand or may have already done the flash command well, that's not what you want to do. From the wiki.migo.com uh, website, there actually is a link to tell you how to do the native install. So clicking that link, you see that we still use the flasher, but the commands are a little different. Now, we're only doing this part if we're on a Linux machine or on a Windows machine, so we're only going to do this part. Now, I've already installed Flasher, and it installed in Program Files, MIMO, Flasher. I opened the command line to the same location. So, I'm going to type the commands now. FL, pressing tab will automatically type the command in. Dash, F, Dash, K, which is going to be the kernel image. The kernel image is Z image arm space dash R. And the name of the image file is starting with Migo, so we're going to type M E dash. And then, as we can see, it automatically typed in the whole thing right there. And that should be all we need to um, put in there, actually. I'm going to press enter in just a moment, but first I need to show you how to set the hardware up. The phone. What we'll need to do is open the keyboard and holding the U key while plugging in the USB cable. The phone should turn on into update mode. And holding this up to the light. You can tell 
when you're in update mode because of the USB icon on the upper right corner of the N900. So now that we're in USB mode, uh, not USB mode, excuse me, USB update mode, I'm going to go and make sure that my virtual PC is connected to the N900, which is in update mode. And then I'm going to go back to the command line and press enter. And hopefully my phone will not break. It's doing something. It's reading the file. It's flashing my device rather quickly. And hopefully, hopefully, come on, it's done. Now, looking at the phone, I will unplug the USB cable. And what we're supposed to do at this point, according to the instructions, is make sure the phone reboots properly by removing the battery. Press the button. Let's hold it a little longer. So there we have a bash shell on my Nokia N9. Hundred, but let's see where we are. P, W, D, enter. Yeah, on root. Let's change to. Oh, this keyboard is a little hard to use here. The function key doesn't work quite the same as normal. I'll have to hold down that blue key and type a forward slash. This is a little difficult on this tiny keyboard. Uh, forward slash. Uh, well, let's see what happens when we just go to the root folder and list all the files there. As you can see, we have basically all your normal Linux folders or directory structure. Well, let's take a look. D, F. That's our file system. There, root. Mounted on bar log bar run dev shm used one percent. Took quite a bit of space, so I think we did successfully load our file system. And if we look into the, here we go again. Trying to type these commands on the small keyboard. Etsy folder. We have ls. Yeah, we have pretty much a full set of configuration files. Oh look, Migo release and Boblin release. And there are RC files. Got password. Shadow, sysconfig, we pretty much got a whole running Linux OS. And that's what the state of Migo is in right now, a Linux command line. So uh, for those of you that are not Linux friendly at the moment, don't don't touch it. Don't touch it yet. Don't don't load it. Wait. Just wait. Use use my remote for now. And that's that's a report now for the status of the Mika OS. But um, if they create some good GUI for it and it responds better and properly and supports the N900 hardware, then I'm all for it.